some things are built to last. Please welcome Dr. Dieter Zetsche, Chairman of the Board of Management of Daimler AG and Head of Mercedes-Benz Cars. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Michigan Theater. You know, even here in the U.S., there are a few German words that everybody understands. Autobahn, of course, Kindergarten, for example, and then Biergarten. That one comes a few years later. Tonight is all about the vehicle that made another German term famous, Geländewagen, or in short, Skiwagen. And we think this car and this venue are a perfect match. First of all, this place is deeply rooted in auto history. This theater was constructed on hallowed ground. On this very site, Henry Ford built his first car. Next, the Mission Theater and this Mercedes attracted legendary stars. As a result, they both became legends in their own right. Detroiters would stand in line to see iconic entertainers on the stage right here ranging from Duke Ellington to Frank Sinatra. Likewise, the G-Class has also earned a star-studded fan base in the nearly four decades since it made its debut, including popes and pop stars, royals and rappers, as well as countless off-road fans across the globe. Still, there's an obvious difference between this venue and this vehicle. Unlike the theater, the G-Class never faded. When Detroit fell on harder times, so did this building. And in 1977, it closed just as in Joni Mitchell's famous song, they paved paradise and put up a parking lot. Ironically, that very same year, 1977, marked the foundation of the German-Austrian joint venture Magna Steyr that set out to build the most capable off-road car in the world. And this car even got stronger over time. So tonight, we're happy to introduce you to the next chapter. Granted, at Mercedes-Benz, we have plenty of great cars in our portfolio. The best evidence are our recent sales figures. In 2017, we've sold more Mercedes-Benz vehicles than ever before. More than 2.3 million units made us the most successful premium brand on the planet, again. It made us the market leader in important markets like Germany or the United States, closing the year with our best ever sales month here in the US. Big driver of our success were again our SUVs. Up to this point, we sold a total of more than 5 million SUVs globally. And as you know, all of our SUVs proudly carry a G in their name. Even the one and only original G made its contribution. With a two-digit growth rate in 2017, the G also scored a new all-time sales record. More than 22,000 units were sold last year. So it's no wonder we consider the G-Wagon's DNA as a very precious asset. It's more than a marketing stunt that we have preserved it as in that famous Jurassic Park scene. That thing is as big as an overseas container. 
Believe me, you can't miss it when you're approaching Cobo Hall tomorrow morning. But here's where the G differs from Jurassic Park. It has always adapted and evolved. So what actually makes a car stand the test of time while most others fade away? I mean, the list of truly lasting automotive icons is not too long. Personally, I would include the Wrangler, the Porsche 911, the Mustang, and of course, the 300 SL. What do they all have in common? Three things come to mind. First of all, they stand for something with no excuses or compromises, be it design, simplicity, performance, or utility. In the case of the G-Wagon, it's the master of all things off-road. Second, automotive icons have a timeless appeal. They are stronger than any fashion because they defined a look and remained true to it. In that sense, the G-Wagon is like the Coke bottle or an Eames chair, instantly recognized. Third, they've built a legend as cars. They tell a story. The G-Wagon has countless stories to tell. In fact, my personal story at Mercedes was also fueled by the G-Wagon. It was the very first vehicle project I was responsible for at Mercedes R&D in the early 80s. This picture is hanging in a hallway in Graz. It proves between the G and myself, only one still looks like we did back then. Yet, we both sport a very enduring style. Some things are built to last. Please welcome Dr. Dieter Zetsche, Chairman of the Board of Management of Daimler AG and Head of Mercedes-Benz Cars. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Michigan Theater. You know, even here in the US, there are a few German words that everybody understands. Autobahn, of course, Kindergarten, for example, and then Biergarten. That one comes a few years later. Tonight is all about the vehicle that made another German term famous, Geländewagen, or in short, Skiwagen. And we think this car and this venue are a perfect match. First of all, this place is deeply rooted in auto history. This theater was constructed on hallowed ground. On this very site, Henry Ford built his first car. Next, the Mission Theater and this Mercedes attracted legendary stars. As a result, they both became legends in their own right. Detroiters would stand in line to see iconic entertainers on the stage right here ranging from Duke Ellington to Frank Sinatra. Likewise, the G-Class has also earned a star-studded fan base in the nearly four decades since it made its debut, including popes and pop stars, 
royals and rappers, as well as countless off-road fans across the globe. Still, there's an obvious difference between this venue and this vehicle. Unlike the theater, the G-Class never faded. When Detroit fell on harder times, so did this building. And in 1977, it closed just as in Joni Mitchell's famous song, they paved paradise and put up a parking lot. Ironically, that very same year, 1977, marked the foundation of the German-Austrian joint venture Magna Steyr that set out. So when the team in Graz wanted to test drive the new G in public, they actually considered going without the usual test car camouflage. They figured only experts would recognize this as the secret new G. It could literally hide in plain sight. After all, it's pretty hard to hide an iconic shape like this one anyway. There are simply some things you cannot camouflage. But preserving the character of the G-Class is not just about looks. It's also about sound. For example, conventional cars have a locking sound like this. The G-Wagon sounds like this. It will continue this way. And that's a good thing, right? Yeah. And above all, there is one thing that matters most. Unparalleled off-road capability. That's the core of the G-Wagon's DNA. For that reason, we didn't even think about replacing the G-Wagon's holy off-road trinity. The letter type frame, the 100% differential locks, and the low range gear. Okay, now some of you might be thinking, hey, did they invite us to Detroit just to say, here's the new G, it's just like the old one? Of course not. Let me clarify. This door handle is one of just three G-Class parts we carried over from the current to the new model without any improvement. An improvement in this case means we fundamentally refurbished the interior, we created an entirely new on-road experience, we took the G's legendary off-road competence even further, at the same time we preserved its iconic character. And the only proper way to measure a G-Wagon's improvement is taking it out to its favorite playground. Mount Schöckel in Austria. That's what we did. Take a look. Let's go. On the first day of our development, it was already clear. When it comes to off-road, we make no compromise. The new G-Class has, of course, the same key features as other G-Classes. Leather type frame and low range gear, offering additional power and control whenever needed. Just by pressing our center differential lock, we're entering the G-Mode, which is all new and prepares perfectly for every off-road terrain. 100% incline is standard for the G-Class. But we have a new feature, an off-road camera made for extreme driving situations. Driving conditions like this, when adaptive damping really shows its strength and puts a big smile on my face. I think it's clear. Only a G-Class can be better than a G-Class. Yes, Gunnar is absolutely right. The new G-Class is better than ever. It really excels on Mount Schöckel. That's also possible because the new chassis was co-developed with our colleagues of AMG. Its torsional stiffness is improved by 55%. At the same time, the new G-Class is 
170 kilograms lighter. Another example is the independent front wheel suspension. It delivers on a smoother on-road performance. And that's great, but it also improves off-road capabilities. And that's what really counts. Or take safety. Of course, the new G now offers all state-of-the-art safety systems you expect in a modern Mercedes. But the new G-Class also has some unique solutions. For instance, the G's iconic turn indicators now disappear in case of an accident. That protects pedestrians and the signature look of the car. Of course, there's also a huge improvement in comfort. One of my favorite proof points for that is the rear view camera. As any G-Wagon owner knows, the rear camera in the current model mostly shows the spare wheel. That's why our engineers have now placed the camera below the spare wheel. But on top of that, they also made this camera 100% waterproof because the new G-Class also has a significantly improved wading depth of 700 millimeters, that's almost 30 inches. Finally, on the inside, we'll find a dramatically upgraded interior. There's more space, more choice, more cutting-edge telematics, and more convenience. All of this underlines one thing. The new G beats the current highly capable model in every discipline, almost literally on any terrain. And with that, I think the time has come to recreate some of the magic that once happened in this theater and finally show you something.
Ladies and gentlemen, this is it, the new G-Wagon. I think you'll agree it's instantly recognizable, yet better in every dimension. And the new G-Wagon is not the only living legend we have on stage tonight. We also have a very special guest who is a perfect match for this special car. Both were born in Graz and now have a huge fan base here in the US and around the world. Both are strong characters sporting a rather boxy design, and both make me look like the only guy on stage who could use some time in the gym. Let's give a big hand to Arnold Schwarzenegger. <laughs> Welcome. Hello, Dieter, wie geht's? Great, great. I'm so Very glad nice. that you lived up to your promise. I'll be back. Of course. <laughs> The Terminator always keeps his promise. Absolutely, but absolutely. It, as I told you, it is such a great honor to be here today at this celebration and the introduction of the new G-Wagon because I have driven G-Wagons now for 25 years. That's right. So I love this car. This is my favorite SUV. A real, real loyal customer, absolutely. So thank you very much for joining us. And throughout your career, obviously, you have been in many different roles, mastered them all, from Conan, Terminator, you just mentioned, governor, not the least of all. And you always were successful, even when it was in difficult terrain. So you really know what we are talking about here. What, for you, makes an automotive icon? Well, I think it's a very good question, because I think what is unique about this G-Wagon is, as you said, it was born in Graz, Austria, where I was born, except 32 years later. But little did I know that when I started getting into bodybuilding and building the best body, at the same time, G-Wagon became the best built SUV. Then I started getting interested in becoming more powerful. All of a sudden, the G-Wagon I saw becoming more powerful. Then I was getting more muscular, the G-Wagon got more muscular. Then I wanted to get faster, then the G-Wagon got more fa fast. So it was unbelievable. So basically what we're talking about here is the true twins. Think about that. Absolutely, the two, absolutely. The two I think twins. about but, that. <laughs> but here is the most amazing thing, Dieter, that I try to prove how I can go from one part to another how I can go from bodybuilding to show business, and how I can go from show business to politics, effortlessly. And then at the same time, this happened here with the G-Wagon again. It can go from snow to mud effortlessly. It can go from the freeway to off-road effortlessly. It can go right in front of a movie premiere. I pulled out with this G-Wagon a movie premiere, and it looks like an elegant limousine, effortlessly. This. SUV can do anything and everything, and this is why I love this car. But now I have something, thank you very much for all of that, but of course, I have something, something which is different. This week, we went, we took through different, several facelifts. What did you to stay in shape? Is it schnitzel or is it sport? Well, I tell you, sport is very important, but you know, you never say to anyone in Hollywood, what did you do for your facelift? Uh, this is an absolute well, no Well, that's why I said this is the only different thing. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I tell you that I, I think that you guys did a fantastic job because I prayed that when you talk about redesigning the car and coming out with a new G-Wagon, that you don't touch the look of it. Because I think this car became so uh, historic and such a great car, and it, uh, it is loved by everyone around the world because of its look, the visual look, the boxy kind of a look is what is so attractive about the car. And so what you did was you improved the car now, and the inside is, of course, spectacular. I got a quick look at it in Beverly Hills. And the performance, and it's a more energy efficient and fuel efficient engine and a more powerful engine and everything has been improved but the look is still fantastic it has this boxy look except it is now wider 
10 Absolutely. centimeters wider, and I had much more leg space in the back. Do you have any free time? Because we need a few more salesperson for our new G-Wagon. <laughs> I think <laughs> there's no better chance we can have than this one. But you're perfectly informed, that's exactly right. So um, clearly, um, we listened to you, we heard your prayers, or someone heard your prayers, and we followed suit. And exactly, even though that every single part is new, it looks just like the former one. And that's what was our job objective. Nadira, I have a question for you. Yes? I think a lot of my friends, especially since I'm an environmentalist and I'm interested in the environment, and I think that eventually we have to get off fossil fuels. What is the future in fossil fuels? And does this G-Wagon eventually come out as an electric G-Wagon? Because I have one right now in Los Angeles, an electric G-Wagon, the first one in the world, and it drives fantastic. What is the future on that? You know, um, last year we said publicly that we would um, change the entire Mercedes portfolio to having all electric drive trends as well. And that clearly says, stay tuned. So you will electrify the Mercedes? We said the entire, the entire portfolio. That's fantastic. Let's give him a big hand for that one. This is very important to the world, to the health of the world. Thank I agree totally much. with Thank you. you. That and uh, before we leave, Dieter, since you have stayed so much and lived so long in America, I saw you becoming more Americanized. Yes, I've seen you with true. jeans. True. Which is not common with executives. Nope. Of your level, especially. And then I've seen you many times in cowboy boots. Today, tonight, it was too cold here for it, cowboy. It, These are better isolated. It's okay. <laughs> I have my cowboy boots yeah. on, so don't worry about it. You're not such but, a wimp that I am. <laughs> but I have a gift for you here. A gift? Which is very important that you, this is, makes them the complete cowboy out of you. Let's have the gift. Wow. First of all, let's have mine. Wow. Right here, cowboy hat, and here's your cowboy hat. Wow. And it fits. So look wow. at this now. Wow, that is great. <laughs> Most impressive. <laughs> that fits perfectly it's well. G -wagon here. So I really guys. <laughs> very much appreciate that. This is a great idea. And I'm really going to the hotel right afterwards and get my boots. Aber ganz schnell. Absolut. Ich werde rennen. Okay. Well, Arnold, thanks again for very, very much for all you have uh, contributed here. Um, this is the moment, ladies and gentlemen, to celebrate. Uh, I would very much like to follow an old tradition, and I guess you know that. Uh, it's from Mount Schöckel. Whoever masters this downhill ride, which is really, really tough, is awarded with a G-strong Austrian drink, Sirben Schnaps. I don't even think there's a proper translation for Sirben Schnaps. But Arnold, you certainly know what this means and what I'm talking about. So anyways, cheers to the new G-Class. <laughs> and cheers to the team who brought it to life. Thank you very, very much. Cheers, my friend. Cheers. Cheers, cheers to G-Wagon. Ah, that's a good one. You don't have that in California, do you? No. no. <laughs> no. Well, I, I, I import it to California. Okay, okay, okay. You know, I bring it to California <laughs> because I love schnapps. I think one schnapps a day keeps the doctor away. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously. Okay, thank you very much. So.